Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Facebook friends. How are you today? Jashi Cabrera here with a little Wednesday wisdom for you. And today, um, as I was driving to work, uh, as you can see, I'm in the car. I'm in the car a lot, right? But I feel most productive when I'm in the car, <laughs> which is why a lot of my videos are in the car, um, especially in the mornings because I'm not necessarily a morning person. Um, but I take my time in the car as kind of my quiet time, right? So instead of uh, listening to the radio um, and or listening to music, I... You, I think I've shared with you guys before that I usually like to listen to a podcast or maybe an audiobook or something that's going to feed my mind, feed my heart, feed my soul. So I know that um, if you've been following me for a couple of weeks, maybe about a month or so, a month and a half, I've been doing um, kind of like a Wednesday prayer call, right? Um, and just inviting anyone that needs prayer or is going through something, needs healing, needs a little uplift in their faith or going through a difficult time, you know, whether it's personally or maybe you know someone that's going through something. Um, I'm getting on here every Wednesday and just offering to partner with you or partner with that loved one in prayer. And so this morning I was listening to um, a podcast and the title was The Healing Tree and it just spoke about healing and um, had some great tools to share. And something that stood out to me and I wanted to share with you all this morning um, is something that I think we're all guilty of right? Um, I think sometimes when we're going through a difficult situation, um, we kind of put blinders on and we're so focused on whatever the issue is that we're going through that we're not able to see possibly the answers or the resources that God has already provided to us in order to deal with this situation. So, um, Many times, you know, whether it's with sickness or a difficult time at your job, just different things that happen in life. Um, if you're going through a difficult season, if you're going through, you know, what we would call a desert or a period of loneliness, um, because we are human and because we are so led by our emotions sometimes, we're not able to just take a moment and say, okay, what is this? What's going on? What's the purpose of this situation? What's the takeaway? What what can I learn from this that is not only going to help me right now, but that's going to be useful to me in the future? Um, and we also fail to sometimes see um, the things that are around us that are going to help us and push us forward. Um, whether that's maybe a past experience that we've had um, that's going to help us in this current situation or whether that's a person that we can reach out to and ask for help or, um, or you know, anything, anything, a, a resource. A resource can be a a noun, a person, place, or thing, anything that's going to push you forward to your next level. Um, and in this particular story that I was listening to, you know, the people of God were in the desert and they were complaining that they didn't have water and they're complaining to Moses, you know, we're out here in the desert. It's hot. I'm thirsty. And the only thing Moses could do was pray to God because he couldn't join them, you know, instead of joining them and complaining, he did what he thought was the only thing he could do. And he went to his father and he went to God and he said, God, like I'm stuck with these people in the desert and we need water. God provided the water, but it wasn't what they expected. It turned out that the water was bitter. And like, if you're in the desert and you're thirsty, the last thing you want is some salty water, <laughs> right? That's like the last thing you would want. So of course then 
they're complaining about the salty water. And where I'm going to is that sometimes we're complaining about a situation or we're going through something and then we kind of receive some sort of an answer or kind of something to calm us down and it's not what we expect but because they were so focused on the fact that the water was bitter they did not see that there was a tree not far away from where they were they didn't think about standing under the tree they didn't even realize that the tree could be used to sweeten the water so whatever situation you're going through right now in the middle of your desert in the middle of your hard time don't focus on the bitterness. Don't focus on what you don't have. Don't focus on the things that you can't control because all of these things can be possible blinders that are stopping you from seeing the tree that is standing right next to you. The tree of your resource, the tree of your healing, the tree of you getting that next promotion at your job, the tree of you bringing your family back together. Whatever it is, whatever it is that you're going through, it's okay. Just remember to take your blinders off. So today, I'm going to wrap it up. Like I've said before, I'd love to pray for you. I'd love to partner with you. Whatever situation you're going through, whatever sickness, whatever your family is going through, whatever difficult time, if you're going through a stressful period of time, I understand. I've been there. We've all been there. But we are blessed. It's a beautiful day. And I want to pray for you. I want to pray that... Um, your dreams come true. I want to pray that you receive the healing that you're looking for, that you receive the answers that you need. So if you need prayer, like, comment, share this video. If it's been a blessing to your life, you never know who might need it. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful day.